Welcome back. I'm moving on to our second segment for today, talking about media. Well, uh, when we talk about media, definitely it is the source of reflecting the real image of what is going on, especially during challenges or difficult times. But uh, sometimes, unfortunately, uh, due to all what is going on or the control uh, of the uh, foreign press uh, to a great extent, that the media cannot... Is Let's say that they are not reflecting the real image in addition to the social media that sometimes they are misleading the uh, real information. And of course, uh, it needs a lot of efforts to be able to reach uh, the right information and to confront any other misleading information. So over the phone, uh, we have Dr. Sara Hotter. She is a professor of media and communication, Cairo University. Hello. Hello. Good morning, doctor. Uh, good morning to you. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. And uh, when we talk about media, and uh, unfortunately due to the latest technologies, that sometimes uh, people can be easily affected or deceived by different channels. So maybe let's start by how can you reach the official channel so as to get the information you are looking for? Uh, well, first, let me um, 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 uh, tell you that um, uh, traditional media and social media, uh, they are very important, and uh, they have a great role to play uh, in modern times and especially in the current circumstances. Uh, I think social media uh, is two-sided and can be uh, used in two ways. Um, uh, well, first, uh, we can use the social media to confirm the kind of information that we always encounter through various sources and the rumors that we hear and see online. Uh, and I think that can be done through uh, going to the source itself or to the, the official uh, 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 the official side of the government uh, uh, and the pages and the platforms the government have uh, in order to make sure and to fact check what you have, uh, uh, what you have got, uh, uh, or you, what you have of information. Um, uh, that's a start. Uh, second, I think that uh, traditional media also have a, a very important role to play. Uh, for many people, the governmental media uh, is more credible uh, and uh, always present uh, uh, counter arguments to various rumors in the Egyptian uh, society or in any society. Um, uh, I think social media uh, is also important uh, in dealing or in, ha in dealing with the public opinion in general. Um, now everyone has a mic. Everyone is a reporter. Uh, so uh, when talking about um, uh, news in general, we can find different mics uh, or different people uh, who don't have to be media professionals. They're talking uh, about their opinions, about what's going on, and they're talking about uh, maybe they're reporting news and you don't know whether they're, they are in the event itself or uh, they're in the news or not, or they're reporting from uh, uh, on ground uh, or they're just at their homes and they're receiving their news from another source. Um, so uh, it, it's a dilemma, so yeah, it needs a lot of awareness. Um, to a great extent, I will consider it uh, just like a war because it is, again, a double-edged weapon. If we are talking, mm -hmm. as you mentioned right now, that everyone has his own mic. So here I would like to stress on the importance of taking this into consideration that make sure you are watching your words and sometimes words can destroy people. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. I agree. Um, uh, uh, dealing with media uh, uh, needs responsibility, a great sense of responsibility, because like you said, you have to choose your words. Um, uh, in the past, uh, with the traditional media, we had specific people who deal or who have mics or who deal with the, with the news and uh, uh, who, who deal with the media content and present the media content. But right now, uh, like, I t like I told you, everyone can do that. Uh, and they don't have to be media professionals, and they don't have to be experts. Uh, and this is a big, a big dilemma. Um, uh, I think that 
through this or uh, w uh, through this fact, we can see that uh, uh, social media uh, specifically can cause conflicts or trigger conflicts uh, because of many factors or many things. Uh, for for example, number one, um, information overload. Uh, social media platforms have uh, tons of information, uh, information that uh, that sometimes may exceed our ability to process uh, because they are just a lot. It's a lot to deal with. Um, uh, our brains cannot resonate with every single piece of information, especially when, the, when this information is in that number or is huge. Uh, number two, social media sometimes can cause polarization. Uh, it, can, it can easily make people uh, fight over uh, a very uh, small or simple issue. It doesn't have to be a big issue. Uh, I see a lot of fight going on on social media, and I just don't understand why. Not just in the current circumstances, but I've always seen that. Uh, people, like, attack each other through comments. Um, and, and that would lead us to number three, which is fanaticism. Uh, uh, fanaticism, uh, uh, I think social media has a very important role to play in, in increasing fanaticism. Uh, because people, uh, instead of uh, 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 like discussing reasonably with each other, they just attack each other, like I just said. Um, sometimes we, and uh, not sometimes, many times, we can uh, um, also encounter a fake news and hate speech. And those are two key ingredients in triggering conflicts and wars. Right. Um, talking also about um, nowadays we can see really a real awareness among people. Uh, among searching for the uh, real channels for uh, taking uh, the information. And we have seen also uh, leadership of many different mm -hmm. countries now. They are aware of the role of the social media. They themselves appear on the social media and they put their own messages or say whatever they want and always uh, being in a real contact with uh, people in general. How far is this important? Uh, well, yes, this is very important actually. Um, uh, let me say that social media is a tool after all. So we can use it in a, in a, in, in a good way too. It, it doesn't have to be just about fake news and hate speech and so on. Uh, during times of crisis, uh, social media platforms can work uh, in a very productive and positive way. Uh, for example, I've seen many, uh, many Egyptians uh, in, the, in the past few days um, um, in, on different platforms, they are talking. They are trying to uh, to talk to the international community about uh, the, the atrocities that that are happening in the Palestinian territories. Uh, they are trying to be their voice uh, in a very responsible way. Um, also, I have seen many Egyptians try to talk about uh, um, uh, the, um, uh, uh, how they are against the forced displacement of Palestinians outside their land and into Sinai. And uh, actually, this was very, uh, um, very interesting and um, uh, uh, very good efforts of different people who didn't also have to be uh, media experts. Uh, they used the social media platforms uh, uh, in different languages to, uh, to speak and, uh, about what's happening to the international community and be the voice uh, uh, of the truth. Because uh, let's, let's uh, agree that media, uh, the, um, media's primary role is conveying the truth or delivering the truth to people. And actually, we've seen this, uh, just as you mentioned, uh, I'm sure that many of us have uh, seen uh, through different channels of the social media that we have many of the international community who are supporting and uh, using their own, um, I mean, sources also to reflect how do they feel uh, regarding uh, this uh, cruel attack on the Palestinians as well. Yes, uh, I agree. Uh, I've seen a lot of uh, international actors, like um, uh, actors and actresses and celebrities, uh, and actually um, just uh, just normal people, 
um, uh, talking through their social media platforms, uh, or social media accounts on different platforms uh, about how um, uh, Israel or Israeli forces are actually um, killing uh, uh, and uh, doing war criminals in Gaza and different Palestinian cities too. Uh, I think this is very important. Like we just said before, that uh, um, everyone has a mic, so that means that social media sometimes empowers people, uh, empowers normal people who, who don't have to be media professionals. Right. Uh, Dr. Sahara Khater, a professor of media and communication, Cairo University, thank you very much for joining us. And now we are moving on into a live coverage for Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli. Uh, inaugurating on Thursday or actually today the International School Complex in the Global Village, the 6th of October city. Uh, Prime Minister Madbouli said the Foreign Fund of Egypt is utilizing the land of the Global Village in the 6th of October city to establish an educational complex that includes a university, a school complex, as a sports